Hey coach, so happy you found us. A uh, couple things. First of all, make sure you go over and subscribe and like. We love those. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's the one-stop shop for basketball coaches. It's a community of like-minded coaches. We just got off an hour and a half call just talking basketball. Come over and join us. There's nothing else like it on the market. It's got everything you need to win more games in less time. Come over and check out teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to talk about five things <laughs> that I think as coaches or as basketball coaches, we need to stop doing. And I'm sure there's a longer list. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts on this, but I, I definitely these five things. Number one, and in no specific order, number one, we don't allow our players to fail. <laughs> um, this is not only during the season and off season, but in drills, we're, we're always – um, not letting them learn by their mistakes. And as from someone that's taught for a really long time, we want them to make mistakes and then to learn from them as a parent, as an educator, as a dad, as an uncle, as, as anything, we, we have to let them fail and, and drills and, and, and teaching should be set up for that. We, we don't want them to fail, but we have to allow them to do that. So that's number one. Number two is we just demand perfection. And that kind of goes into the failure thing. We can't, <laughs> we're not going to, we're never, I've never coached the per perfect basketball game. I've never watched the perfect basketball game. I've never seen the perfect basketball game. The funny thing about basketball is there's all sorts of mistakes. And do you, you know, we demand that everything is it, demanding perfection will first of all drive you bonkers. Um, but Things have to happen for them to grow, for them to have that growth mindset. So that's number two. Um, next thing is we 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 don't follow through on 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 expectations, on on classroom management, on on discipline, on things that um, will will make the train work, will make us be effective. Um, you have to treat the fifteenth player in your roster the same as the first player on your roster, and I think. I don't know if it's a societal thing, but I think in, in some respects we have lost some of that and we need to demand expectations. We need to demand those things. Um, the next one, the worst things we do as coaches is sometimes don't take care of ourselves. I, I've been working all day and I just grabbed the dogs and went for a 30 minute walk because I needed to clear my head. I needed to get outside. I needed to see nature. Needed to stop making videos and podcasts and stuff. Um, so you got to take care of yourself, not only mentally but physically, financially, all of those kind of things. And then the then the and the last thing I think is we don't admit when we make mistakes, um, and they'll respect you. They'll respect when you do that. I, I'll give you an example of one that that I made near the end of our season. We were playing one of our arrivals, and. Um, our leading scorer was at the free throw line and we were up three and he had hit the first free throw. He was going to shoot the second one. I was going to take a timeout. I, you know, he's a, he almost a 78% free throw shooter or something like that. I was going to take a timeout after he made the second one. Um, and then we were going to foul because there was like seven seconds left. I didn't, he missed it. They came down hit a three beat us in overtime. And I apologized to the team the next day in the film session. I said, here's what I should have done. I made a mistake. I should have called a timeout before he shot the second free throw blah, blah, blah. Um, so you, so apologize and, and admit when you make a mistake. So don't, uh, we don't allow them to fail. We have to allow them to fail. We demand, so I'm gonna go through these. We, we don't allow them to fail. We demand perfection. We don't follow through with, you know, cultural and discipline and expectations. We don't take care of ourselves and we don't admit when we make a mistake or we apologize. I think those are five of five things that to be honest with you, I thought about it on my walk today. I'm sure there's plenty more, and I'd love to hear from you if you have any extra ones. If it's YouTube, down below, you can put it in the, in the video link. If it's anywhere else, I'd love to hear. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, Coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.